हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू वर्षा ट्यूटोरियल्स टुडे इन पार्ट थ्री ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी रोल ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट्स एंड इफेक्ट ऑफ देयर डेफिशिएंसी ऑन प्लांट्स चिल्ड्रन रोल मींस फंक्शन ऑफ वर्क एंड डेफिशिएंसी मींस लेस इन अमाउंट सो इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फंक्शन और वर्क ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट्स an effect that is what will happen if a particular nutrient is less in plants so first of all let us begin with nitrogen which is important component of proteins chlorophyll and cytoplasm in plants now children look at this picture what do you see there are two potted plants one pot is deficient of nitrogen or there is very less supply of nitrogen to this pot n is symbol for nitrogen and other pot is supplied with adequate amount of nitrogen so what difference do you see in the growth of plant well the plant which is deficient of nitrogen or to which less amount of nitrogen is supplied shows stunted growth or grows very slowly whereas the plant we, uh, to which there is adequate amount of nitrogen supply shows fast growth or grows lush green so what do you conclude from this exactly the nitrogen deficient plant shows retarded or stunted growth now again look at another picture what is the difference between the leaves of this plant minus n stands for nitrogen deficiency so what difference do you see in the leaves of the plant with nitrogen deficient well they are yellow in color whereas the plants which are uh, which shows adequate amount of nitrogen are green in color so what do you conclude from this the nitrogen deficient plants show yellowing of leaves now another important nutrient in plant is phosphorus which converts light energy into chemical energy what is effect of its deficiency that is if the phosphorus is less in amount what will happen to plants let us see there will be early leaf fall can you see this plants in this there is early leaf fall then there will be slow growth of roots and late flowering in plants children potassium is very necessary for metabolic activities like production of food that is synthesizing food with the help of sunlight water and chlorophyll then growth reproduction etc if there is potassium deficiency in plants the stems are grown very weak if you see the stems of banana here they can be seen weak another example is if there is deficiency of potassium in plants plants show wilting of leaves as seen in this picture magnesium is very important in production of chlorophyll that is green color pigment in plants now let's see the effect of deficiency of magnesium in plants children can you see this picture mg stands for magnesium mg is symbol of magnesium so looking at this picture what do you conclude well the plant with less amount of mg shows stunted or retarded growth whereas the plant with adequate mg shows sufficient growth so what is your conclusion yes the deficiency of magnesium in plants results in retarded or stunted growth now look at this picture one leaf is with less magnesium whereas other leaf is with adequate magnesium so the leaf which is having less magnesium is yellowish in color whereas the leaf which is green in having adequate mg is green in color so what do you conclude from this well 
deficiency of magnesium results in yellowing of leaves iron is also important in production of chlorophyll now let's see effect of its deficiency in plants it results in yellowing of leaves manganese plays very important role in production of main plant hormone now let's see the effect of its deficiency in plants manganese deficiency results in spotted leaves as you can see in this picture then it results in retarded growth of plants retarded means slow growth of plants zinc plays very important role in production of hormones and is intermediate what is effect of its deficiency in plants children can you see this picture here you can see two potted plants in which one is supplied with less amount of zinc whereas other is supplied with adequate amount of zinc minus zinc means less amount of zinc and plus zinc means adequate amount of zinc so what difference do you see in the growth of plant well the plants with deficiency of zinc shows retarded growth and the plants with adequate amount of zinc shows fast growth so what is your conclusion yes the deficiency of zinc in plants shows retarded growth now look at this picture what is the effect of deficiency of zinc in the leaves of the plant what is the color of these leaves well it's yellow in color so what is your conclusion of course the deficiency of zinc in plants results in yellowing of leaves that's all for today dear students if you have understood today's topic you will be able to surely complete this assignment first one is match the following in which you have to write the answers by making new table also you have to complete the following table this is also based on today's video so thanks for watching and if you have forgotten to hit the like button do hit it and please do not forget to share and subscribe to my channel because knowledge sharing is knowledge squaring